I take it you have already seen how to search based on information like persons, locations, and other categories. If not, please have a look at that video first. There is, however, no such thing as a free launch, so to be able to search, you need to annotate your images first. That is what I'll show you here in this video. I already browsed some images from the party at the KDE conference. Now it's time to tell Kitaba who is on the images, so I'll select the images in question, and from the context menu, I'll select configure images one at a time. This brings up the annotation dialog, where I for each image may specify who is on it, where it's taken, etc. Now let me specify who are on these images. First, we have my good friend Till Adam. Now follow carefully what I do. Let me type the letter T. Woo! Here we have Till. As he already was in my database, Kitabar simply searched for people starting with the letter T. And as Till was the one I most recently specified, he shows up first. Now I may press enter to select him. As there are nobody else in this image, I'll simply press page down to go to the next image. Here we have Kelly. Let me start typing. First I'll press K. That gives me Kevin. So I'll continue on typing. Now pressing A gives me Kelly and I can press enter. Let me continue with a few more images so you can see how easy it is. And here is Daniel and Matthias. See how easy it is to specify both of them just by pressing D, Enter, M, Enter. Finally, here is Rainer. I don't have him in my database yet, so when I type his name, Kitabar has to give up finding a match for me. However, I'll simply type in his full name and press Enter, and next time I see him, he'll only be a few keystrokes away. Now I've specified who is on all the images, one after the other, so it's time to specify location and keyword for the images. All the images are from the same party, which means that they are from the same city, of course. So to specify location, I'll choose Configure all images simultaneously from the context menu. Whatever I now specify for the images, it will be specified for all of the images in one go. The conference was in Malaga, let me type that in. Malaga is in Spain, so let me add it to the Spain member group. That way, these images will also show up when I'm just searching for Spain, along with the images from Madrid and Mallorca. Next, let me select the keyword I have for this conference. That way I can easily find all images from this conference in one go. Now I'm all done specifying information for the images, so I'll add the keyword OK to these images. That way I can easily find images that I have not yet annotated. Let me show you how that works. From the browser, I'll choose Search, and in the keywords line edit, I'll type Not OK. Notice the exclamation mark means not. And now pressing search shows me that I still need to annotate 186 images. So pressing view images will get me back to the thumbnail view where I can continue my annotation. That's it for this video. Now you've seen how easy it is to annotate images with Kitabah.